Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Ivan and if you're new here, um, welcome to the family. And if you haven't already clicked subscribe and the notification bell, please go ahead and click that before we start the video. And uh, today's video is a really highly requested one. Um, a lot of you guys have asked me like how I take my selfies. Well, everything is practice, right? And I don't honestly think like my selfies are that great. A lot of you guys have asked, so I thought might as well share with you guys my tips and maybe it'll help you up your selfie game. Uh, the first tip that I have is very, very obviously good lighting. Um, the difference between a good lighting and a bad lighting picture, especially if you're taking selfies on your phone, is that you'll see a change in quality and the graininess. If the lighting is too strong, it will cast like dark shadows on your face and it'll hide some of your features and the contrast between like the light and the dark becomes very, very apparent. There's no wrong or right way to do selfies, but this is personally my way to do it. I think a good lighting would be like around golden hour, uh, which is around 6 to 7 here in LA, where the sun is just really warm and nice and soft, and you can just sort of um, see all the details, and it's just a very flattering light for most, for I would say everyone. If the lighting is too dark and too, like not well lit, the photos just look kind of grainy and low, like the quality is lowered. So when you edit them later in your editing apps, um, it's just not gonna be a, a good quality photo, even though, you know, sometimes you just have to catch the moment at night. But again, that's up to you. And if you're using the iPhone, I don't know if you guys know about this tool because I just found it out recently. If you tap on your um, phone, if you tap on the phone and you hold it, it actually locks the exposure, so you can move it up and down, and you can see it getting darker if you want it, and you can see it getting lighter, and it'll just focus on that, like it's locked in the focus. So that's a really, really good tool if you are constantly taking the same photo in the same type of lighting. Um, it just keeps it constant, and you don't want your photos to be too overexposed because when you go and edit it, um, it's easier to get a photo brighter, but it's hard to bring down the brightness of the photo because the pixels are lost. I don't really know how to explain it, but maybe somebody else can explain it better than me, but it's good to have a normal lit photo and then you can brighten it up later. According to selfies, like it is your face, so you would know your face best and you would know which side is your good side, I guess. For me, I prefer this side of my face versus this side. Um, there's no apparent reason to it. I just think this side looks better than this side. Maybe it's the way my hair is part or my eyes or my jaw or whatever. Everybody has a better side that they think it's better. Like, if you think that side is better, you'll um, automatically be more confident in the photo and it shows through. So with me, this side, I always tilt my face this side a little bit more. So figure out which one your good side is and play around with it. If you don't have a good side and your face is like completely symmetrical, then you know, good for you, but most of us aren't. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Another tip for selfies is that like, you don't want your background to be kind of too messy. And I think it's part of how you want to come across in your selfie as well. Like I wouldn't have like my all my dirty laundry or my dirty dishes out because it's just kind of clutter and I don't like clutter in my selfies typically and if there's a lot of different colors it's sort of distracting for the selfie because you want your I guess in a selfie you want your face to be the main focus right so I would definitely um, look for a background that's either like greenery I like that I like the sky it's very very clean and aesthetically pleasing you know nature is just beautiful and obviously like clean backgrounds like a clean building a white gray black whichever you like would be a really really good background for selfies because it doesn't detract I guess your face if you, that's the main focus if you're not wearing any makeup and you're like insecure about it, I would say don't be because there's no wrong or right way to take a selfie honestly and it is uh, uh, a selfie is a documentation of what you look like at the moment so I don't think there's um, any like there's no need to be ashamed because if you see on my insta stories like I often don't wear makeup and I'm just like going about my daily stuff. So thank you for all the comments and the DMs. Uh, I posted one where I was brushing my cat 
and a lot of you guys seem to like it because you guys replied to it. It really works though, that glove. If you are insecure about your skin or whatever and you still want to take selfies, um, consider using a uh, snow app. This app like has a lot of cute filters and it filters your face. Like You can toggle how strong you want the filter to look like and um, it's just very useful for days where you just want to look better but don't want to wear makeup and stuff. There are also like a lot of ears filters that's really really cute so you can utilize those as well and then after taking a video from there or a photo from there you can download it and then upload it onto you know Instagram or your Insta story or wherever you like to post your selfies. Another tip that I have is to take many selfies, take many photos, take, take as many as you can and after that just pick out favorite the ones you like and then just start working on that. The editing software that I use on my phone, I use it only on my phone. I used to use Photoshop but nowadays it's just faster to edit on your phone and upload it right away because nobody really brings around a whole laptop I feel like anymore just for a selfie. I use um, Snapseed, Visco, and Facetune. Hey. If you want to see how I use it, I'll create another video and um, just let me know down below like if you want to see how I edit my selfies. But I cannot stress again how important lighting and angles is for a good selfie. The front camera quality is worse than the back camera quality, especially for iPhones. So one trick that I have is hold up a mirror and use the back camera and you can see like your own reflection I guess in the selfie like that. Just like that. Camera reception. The quality will be higher, but it's just more difficult to see. So it's definitely up to you. For me, I personally just am okay with just the front camera of the iPhone. Um, it works just fine. Overall, just have fun and smile and be confident with it because it's you and you should be proud of how you look and how confident you are. Like I said again, there are no right or wrong ways to take a selfie. These are just my personal tips and the things that I follow when I take a selfie because I'm really picky about that. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this was a really really fun and uh, chill video and I really wanted to just to share my tips with you guys. And if you have any tips on your of your own, just let me know down below because I'm always down to learn to improve my craft and my craft is the selfie, I mean. <laughs> Thank you again for all the support and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Yeah, it's actually kind of like embarrassing how many selfies I have. A good number <laughs> of selfies that I have to choose from. So, have the option.